The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go and open the document. Um, as you can see, that is indeed my marvelous thesis, and I will turn this off. For, no, I'll turn it on. Um, <laughs> because I'm going to do some more breaks and stuff. So this example, this next bit, is called combining documents. It's the easiest thing ever. Um, I heard someone mention master and sub-documents, and we don't like master and sub-documents. They are evil. They really are. They cause enormous problems. So if you've ever heard of them, um, just put them away out of your mind. If you've never heard of them, pretend this part of the, the last 10, 20 seconds of me talking didn't happen. What you want to do, and I'll just give you a quick reason, they do not, do not work properly on a university network. That's why. So, yeah, so they do work if you have it on a USB, but that's why we don't cover them anymore. All right, so instead what you want to do is, so you have, because you didn't uh, want to have one big large document, even though that's possible, you have created lots of chapters. I'll just show you what your chapters look like. There they are. Yeah? And by themselves, have a notice here, they are numbered. They've got pickies in them. There's stuff going on in them. Right? Now I'll just open chapter one, and that started with chapter one, and I'll just open chapter four. And guess what? That's chapter one too. How can that be? Anybody got any ideas? <laughs> styles. It is styles, and it's because that's the first occurrence of heading one. Don't worry, when we put them all together, it will actually realize that that is actually the fourth chapter. So, um, and I can see it is four number up there. Now, just one proviso when you use this method, it's not copy and paste, by the way, <laughs> it's better, <laughs> um, is that if you do have an EndNote, EndNote references in there, I highly recommend that you choose to convert them to unformatted. Okay? Do you all know about that? You don't know anything about that? Okay. Uh, convert to unformatted citations. The reason I say that, what it will do is it will put little curly brackets. So instead of your citation being like this, that's my surname by the way, yeah, something like that, what you'll actually see is, and you'll probably see my name still, but then you'll probably see a number of some kind. I'm just making something up. Yeah? And that's a unique number. So when you update your citations, when you've combined it all, it's going to put it all together because otherwise you would get, and it would get a bit confused, you get all these bibliographies at, at the end of each chapter, wouldn't you? And it would actually get a bit confused. So basically all I'm saying is just do unformatted citations, save your document, and then put them all together and then go to this one here, which is update citations and bibliography, and it will work like a dream. Any problems, you call Helen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so imagine this has got. I've got a couple of things here. You know, you know, different pages that I've got things in. I've even put my table of contents in, which is pointless because I need to update it anyway. But I am going to put my cursor there, and I'm going to insert my document. Oh my God, I'm running out of time. Aren't I? Um, All right. So what we do is we go to the insert tab. We're going over here, object, and we're choosing text from file. And then we navigate to wherever I've got that city, uh, which is somewhere there. <laughs> right, I select it and I insert. Bingo, my chapter one's in there. You can see it's happening here, isn't that exciting? <laughs> yeah, and it's coming with all the pictures. I'll just scroll up so you can see, there they are. And it's called chapter one. now. I am using a section break to put in my next section because I might want to have all my sections start on odd pages, for example. So I'll, or I might want them to look in some way different. So I'm going to just put in a oops, there break. I might do an odd page, which is the same as the next page, except it forces the page to be on an odd page. So if you're reading a book, it's quite nice. I like it. Um, because I like it, that's what you're going to have to do. <laughs> Don't just have your supervisor to answer to. Um, all right, so we go back to insert, we go to object and text from file, and number two, insert. And look, it's really done it. Magic. Yeah? I'm going to make it really easy on myself now by doing the next ones. I'm going to not put in the other section breaks, but I will, probably would. 
But I'll show you just another trick. If you've got 10 chapters, you can actually do them all in one go. You can select the whole um, row. Now, the way you select them, so if I had selected chapter 4 first and then 3, that's how they'll go in. Okay, so make sure you check. select them in order, have them in a nice, call them something very clear, have them in a nice order, and then click insert and bingo, they're all in. So there you go. And will they automatically put breaks in between each one? If you had breaks in them, they will be in there. So everything, all the things will come with them. So the, I put a break from chapter 1 into chapter 2, but I didn't do it here. So it's gone, see there it is. I put my cursor here and it's gone in straight here. So you have to do it yourself. But anything that, like here, there's a, a type of break in here and there's a break in there, they'll just be in there, they'll just come in there. Same with all your landscape pages and all that. And that's why that's a better method to do. I can see a question. Yeah, um, if, so if you have your chapters set up and then you're working on the individual chapters and then you have that document, if you update one of the chapters, no. It's so not it linking. At the very end. That's right. That is master and sub, and like I said, because it causes problem, we don't recommend that. This is really at the end when you want to put it all together. Uh, for those of you who are not interested in this, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having a really long document. It works perfectly fine. Okay? If you were using the old format, this format, which I know none of you will be using this ever again, <laughs> then you would have to use separate documents because it cannot cope with large that's why this doc, this format is fine. Okay, I realised that I talk too much.